something extraordinary is happening in exoplanet science right now. And most people have no idea how profoundly it is reshaping our view of the cosmos. The James Webb Space Telescope is no longer just mapping distant worlds. It is actively dismantling the boundaries of what we believed planets could endure, retain, and become. In a remarkably short time, Webb has revealed atmospheres that defy stripping by stellar fury, compositions that challenge every formation model, shapes warped by unimaginable forces, and chemical signals that hover tantalizingly near the edge of biology. And no, this is not about one isolated oddity. What Webb is uncovering spans gas giants, rocky super-Earths, and worlds orbiting the remnants of dead stars. Discovery by discovery, a pattern is taking shape, and that pattern reveals exoplanets as far more resilient, far more dynamic, and far more chemically adventurous than our theories ever permitted. Tonight, we will trace those revelations step by step because, by the end, you may grasp that the impossible is no longer hypothetical. It is already staring back at us from the void. One of the first fractures in our assumptions emerges from a world that should have been stripped bare long ago. TOI-561b is a super-Earth, scorched by its star at temperatures hot enough to melt rock into vast magma oceans. Models predicted that any atmosphere would boil away under such relentless radiation, leaving only a naked core. Yet Webb's precise measurements show something astonishing. A thick blanket of gases clinging stubbornly to the planet, lowering its density far below what bare rock could explain. This is not a thin veneer. It is a substantial envelope, volatile and enduring, suggesting ongoing replenishment from the seething interior or mechanisms we have yet to comprehend. Already this single lava world compels astronomers to acknowledge that atmospheric loss is not inevitable, even in environments we once deemed utterly destructive. As startling as resilient rocky worlds are, Webb's gaze has pierced even stranger realms. Around the spinning corpses of exploded stars, pulsars that blast gamma rays and gravitational tides capable of shredding ordinary matter, Webb has confirmed a Jupiter-mass planet, PSRJ2322-2, 650b, orbiting impossibly close. Its shape is distorted into a lemon by tidal forces, yet it endures. More baffling is its atmosphere. Dominated by helium and carbon, laced with molecular soot clouds that may condense into diamonds deep within. No hydrogen, no water, no methane, nothing like the gas giants we know. This composition defies every known pathway of planetary birth, hinting at formation from the debris of a disrupted companion or processes born in stellar cataclysm. Webb is demonstrating that planets do not merely survive cosmic violence. They emerge transformed, carrying chemistries alien to anything in our solar system. Webb's insights deepen with inflated giants that refuse to deflate. The WASP-107b, a low-density world, reveals enormous streams of helium escaping into space, forming tails that stretch across its orbit. Yet despite this dramatic loss, the atmosphere remains puffy and extended, driven by internal heat or migration histories we are only beginning to unravel. Spectroscopy captures water, heavy molecules, and unexpected absences, like methane, that point to vigorous internal mixing. This is more than exotic weather. It marks the dawn of mapping atmospheric escape in real time, revealing how planets fight to retain their envelopes against stellar winds that should eviscerate them. And Webb presses further, charting three-dimensional temperature structures on ultra-hot Jupiters, where supersonic flows redistribute scorching heat in patterns of staggering complexity. Perhaps the most provocative findings arise from worlds in the habitable zone, where conditions flirt with the possibility of oceans. K-218b, 
a sub-Neptune enveloped in hydrogen, has yielded signals consistent with dimethyl sulfide and disulfide, molecules produced on Earth almost exclusively by marine life. These are not definitive proofs, but persistent detections across multiple observations, coexisting in disequilibrium that demands active replenishment. Webb's spectra show methane, carbon dioxide and water in combinations that strain abiotic explanations, suggesting cycles driven by processes beneath clouded skies. This single system forces a reckoning. If such signatures hold, they represent the strongest hint yet that biology may operate beyond our world, hidden within vast hydrogen oceans we once dismissed. As James Webb probed deeper into extreme environments, it uncovered rocky planets retaining atmospheres under bombardment that should have erased them entirely. Ultra-hot super-Earths like TOI-561b, orbiting so close their surfaces glow with magma, display emission spectra indicating thick gaseous shrouds rather than barren stone. These envelopes, rich in volatiles, imply powerful retention or outgassing from molten interiors, challenging the notion that proximity alone dooms atmospheric survival. Even ancient worlds, orbiting stars twice the sun's age in metal-poor regions, hold on to substantial air. This resilience blurs the line between stripped hell and dynamic body, suggesting that rocky planets are far hardier than our models allowed. One of the most unsettling revelations comes from atmospheres laced with carbon in forms that should not persist. PSRJ 2322-2650b's soot-filled skies and diamond-forming depths arise from molecular carbon dominating where hydrogen should rule. Webb detects no familiar traces, only exotic chains that hint at formation from carbon-rich disks or catastrophic disruption. This is not an outlier. Patterns emerge across systems, worlds bloated by internal energies, atmospheres refusing equilibrium, chemistry skewed toward heavy elements. These repetitions indicate underlying mechanisms, tidal heating, radioactive decay, or deep reservoirs, keeping planets active far longer than expected. Webb's spectroscopic precision has exposed chemical pairings that defy stability. On K2-18b, potential biosignatures coexist with methane and carbon dioxide in states of prolonged disequilibrium, implying constant renewal. Volcanism, photochemistry, or deeper cycles could sustain them. But their persistence under moderate stellar input points to internal drivers amplifying activity. Planets receiving scant energy from their stars nonetheless churn with complexity, their interiors fueling surface renewal across billions of years. This independence from stellar dictates vastly expands the arenas where dynamic chemistry can thrive. Taken collectively, these observations dismantle the rigid habitable zone. For years, potential was confined to a narrow band where surface water might flow. Webb reveals atmospheres enduring inside and outside that ring. Chemistry flourishing in heat or cold. Resilience triumphing over hostility. Habitability emerges not as a fixed location, but as a continuum, where energy sources, stellar, tidal, geothermal, intersect with time to foster complexity. If true, the tally of intriguing worlds does not merely grow. It surges beyond counting. As James Webb dissected exoplanet atmospheres layer by layer, researchers noted signals that resist easy dismissal. Dimethyl sulfide traces on K218b linger alongside disequilibria, requiring ongoing input, evoking biological regulation without demanding it. Internal engines, not just stars, appear to power these imbalances, sustaining activity in low energy regimes. Planets evolve autonomously, their cores releasing heat and material long after stellar youth fades. This autonomy redefines longevity, allowing worlds to remain chemically vibrant eons beyond expectation. Even more disquieting is the repetition across diverse systems. Inflated giants leak helium yet hold form. Lava worlds cloak in gas. Pulsar planets wear carbon shrouds. 
Habitable zone candidates whisper organic hints. Hot, cold, massive, compact, all exhibit unexpected vitality. Atmospheres cling where they should vanish. Chemistries rebel against equilibrium. Internal fires defy quiescence. Such consistency betrays rules we overlooked, implying complexity arises readily when matter and energy converge. At this juncture, caution tempers excitement. Webb detects conditions mimicking life-friendly environments, not life itself. Ambiguous signals demand rigorous alternatives. Geochemistry, photochemistry, unknown physics. Yet the data grows richer. The ambiguity is more suggestive. If biology exists elsewhere, these are precisely the subtle, contested traces we would first encounter. Never blatant, always requiring scrutiny. By now the universe reveals its disregard for our neat divisions. Exoplanets are neither barren nor teeming, hostile nor welcoming. Atmospheres persist or evolve unpredictably. Compositions twist into the unforeseen. Webb unveils worlds opportunistic and efficient, forging intricacy wherever conditions permit. This does not prove life abounds, but it establishes that pathways to complexity are widespread far beyond our prior constraints. The deepest unease stems not from isolated anomalies, but from their convergence. Webb finds resilience repeating, thick air on scorched rocks, exotic shrouds around stellar remnants, disequilibria in temperate envelopes, internal vigor sustaining the improbable. Randomness yields no such harmony. Patterns demand new principles where planetary vitality emerges as the norm, not the rarity. As clarity sharpened, scientists proceeded deliberately, aware of the stakes. Signatures nearing biospheres ignite debate, yet evidence demands non-biological trials first. These worlds craft settings where life would surprise no one, dynamic, energized, chemically poised. That whisper reshapes the search. For generations, the quest narrowed to Earth twins around sun-like stars. Webb explodes that paradigm. Potential scatters across spectra. Broiling rocks with air, frigid giants with heat, stripped survivors reborn. The query shifts from counting Earths to tallying roots to intricacy. The numbers escalate rapidly, assembling these threads, unimaginable gains precision. Not aliens or proof, but creative prowess we underestimated. Planets thrive without perfection. Chemistry complexes in adversity. Structure accelerates beyond timelines. The unimaginable is a cosmos primed to experiment relentlessly in realms we excluded, through means we are decoding. We no longer query if complexity can arise. We witness it unfolding galaxy-wide. Where does this position us? Tracing Webb's exoplanet revelations, from magma-veiled rocks to carbon-draped pulsar worlds, from escaping tales to tentative biosignatures, one reality dominates. The cosmos experiments without restraint, complexity enduring where we foresaw sterility. Webb unveils not anomalies, but a reordered reality. The old question, was there life out there? Feels constrained. Instead, we confront worlds brimming with active processes, defiant envelopes, insistent chemistries. Even amid fury, potential persists, adapts, evolves. Life may not permeate, but avenues to it prove broader, more resilient, more prevalent than imagined. This unsettles because the cosmic quiet now seems expectant. We no longer ponder capacity for wonder. We question how much we overlooked by gazing awry. James Webb offers no final verdicts. Its power lies in compelling admission. The unimaginable is manifest. As observations continue and successors emerge, certainty grows. The universe we comprehended has dissolved. In its stead rises something vibrant, inventive, pulsing with possibility we scarcely envisioned. And this is merely the dawn. If what Webb reveals stirs something profound in you, the awe of a universe teeming with hidden potential, subscribe now to join this journey deeper into the stars. Comment below.
Which discovery unsettles or inspires you most? Share this with someone who needs to feel the wonder of what lies beyond. Together, let us contemplate the silence not as absence, but as invitation. The cosmos is speaking. Are we ready to listen?